Hello everybody, Erica here with One Berkshire and we are inside of Berkshire Paint and Sip. Michelle here, Michelle Iglesias who runs Paint and Sip. She's also an amazing artist and we're gonna see some of her artwork, but she let me wear this apron because this is what people get to wear when they're here for a painting. So I might have to stick around. Too, but... <laughs> Not yet. So you gotta hear Michelle's story of how she did this place and we're gonna take a walk through so you can see the beautiful artwork that's here. But we're gonna do one of our women in business interviews with Michelle. Excellent. So, so Michelle, give us a little bit of the story here. Like, how did this place come to be? Well, so I was an artist first, and I was a struggling artist, being an accountant while while trying to be an artist. Um, and then I had people ask me to do this paint and sip thing, and I said, No, you're gonna be drinking. You've never <laughs> painted before. There's no way I'm gonna try and teach you how to do something in two hours. Right. So I needed to shut my family up and my friends, so I finally did one party, and I absolutely fell in love with it. So, the there, thing you thought you would never do, oh my here God. you are doing yeah, it as a I career. Am, and you know, I don't have to be an accountant anymore, so that's, well, that's the best thing. bonus, and yeah. you get to paint all day, which is fun. Yes. You have to see, we're gonna do a little bit of a walk so you can see some of the artwork along the walls, but I'm just gonna even show you some of these. I'm so, just gonna follow her. I yeah, have no <laughs> idea where she's going, so. She's gonna follow me around. <laughs> so Michelle paints all of these, but the cool thing about a paint and sip class is you paint all these things too. Yes, so I'm going to stand up in front of the class. If you spin around that way. All right. We'll go this is here. the one that we're going to do tonight. Is, there's a class tonight, by the way, and, and she told me it's not full yet. So it's not full. You could totally come out, and if you want a gift for somebody, you could come paint this for them. Yeah. So I'm going to stand up in front of the room. I'm going to be demonstrating this painting here, and everybody's going to be sitting at the stations behind us. They'll all be here. And they're going to wear this pretty apron. Like I'm wearing yeah, right go. now. And <laughs> they're going to follow right along, and by the time the class is over, they're going to go away with a beautiful painting that they're going to be proud of. And there's wine involved or something. Yeah, something like that. It has something to do with my name, Berkshire <laughs> Paint and Sip. So tonight, everybody gets to bring their own beverage of choice. Okay. We'll provide them with some snacks and stuff that they, you know, munch on or whatever, but they definitely can do whatever sipping they want. Okay. Yeah. So we're going to walk in because not only does she have kind of the business in the front here, but in the back, we're, she also has a gallery where she paint, paints her own creations. Mm -hmm. So you have to see some of this stuff too, because this is like a seriously talented painter here. Like, Aww. look at some of this stuff. So I also, while you're looking at this other artwork that she's showing, I do more advanced uh, workshops too. So... If you enjoy these styles, I do monthly workshops that'll teach you how to do landscapes or portraits or abstracts or any any kind of uh, subject matter that you're interested in learning. I teach those as well. So your business has been here. You said four years. Four years. So is there anything along the way that you've run into as a you know as a woman in business, as an entrepreneur, mm -hmm. basically, that um, has been a challenge that you are either dealing with now or that you've dealt with and figured out a great solution for? Well, I think with any business owner, especially when you're an independent business owner as I am, trying to balance that home life versus the business life, oh, yeah. that's a huge challenge. So you just got to find a way to put it in your schedule, put in the, you know, the personal time into your mm. schedule. Otherwise you can, you know, really go crazy. Like you, so you actually schedule it in. To make I do. Sure it's in my calendar. That's Day, so smart. Days, you know, road trips. It's all in my calendar because... Otherwise, you'd pass you right over the you time. Yep. So, let's go back into uh, into this room because this is where the the fun classes happen. So, I also am curious if you have words of wisdom for people who are watching this, who are either you know new entrepreneurs, new women in business, new anybody in business. It doesn't just have to be women. Put on your mentoring hat for us. So, my mentoring hat. Um, you really just have to be passionate about what you're doing. So, you can pick anything. It could be running. It could be art. It could be accounting. <laughs> which I wasn't passionate about. <laughs> it just came naturally. But if you pick something that you're passionate about, it, one, it doesn't feel like work. And two, you always naturally are gonna be more successful at it. So I know it's a cliche that, you know, pick something that you love. It's a hard thing to do. But if you can do it, it's so rewarding. So, you know, well, you were, it's a piece of it. You were, you were great because you figured out how to take the thing you love and make a business out of it. Yeah, which... My background mm. helped me through that. So if I didn't have that kind of structured accounting, small business background, there could have very easily been a lot of things that fell through and this may not have been a success. But because I had that piece, so even if you're passionate about something, make sure you kind of understand the full scope of it because 
if you want to be an artist, you're not just going to be the artist. You're also going to be your bookkeeper. You're going to be your janitor. You're yeah. going to be, you know, you've, you've, you take on all these other roles, especially as an independent business owner. So love what you want, like what you want to do or have a passion for it, but understand that there's so many other extra things that come along with it. And you got to understand that and, and deal with those things. <laughs> well, it's a good payoff though with, if you're doing what you're passionate about. Well, and that's a great setup because so you must be passionate about this. You told me that you do about 30 classes a month. Yeah. So I'm doing seven to 10 a week. I'll do, you know, two on Saturdays, two on Sundays. Mm -hmm. Um, almost one every other day of the week. I try for Tuesdays to be off, <laughs> um, but I'm teaching the other workshops as well. So, you know, it is definitely a full-time gig for me and I love every minute of it. So someday I might not be able to do this. So I'm just gonna kind of do it for as long as I can and you know. Well, and you told me also that you have these, I, there's actually one in front of me here. You have these cool reward cards so that if somebody comes to this and tries it for the first time, you have a reward program that if they come back and create more sure. art with you, yeah. then they get a free class. You come point. five times and you get to come the sixth time for free. <laughs> so, That's a pretty good deal. Yeah. And yeah. it doesn't really get old because I, like, I'm looking at some of these. I'll get you closer to some of this artwork. It, everything is so different. So it, it's not like you come once and create a pumpkin, but then the next time you could create something so completely different. Right. So tonight they get a chance to paint either on a, a slate tile, a roofing slate tile or canvas. They can paint on wood, they can paint on a canvas tote bag, you can paint on glassware. The the options are really endless. I have about probably close to 300 paint projects wow. right now to choose from and you know, it just keeps growing, so. Yeah, yeah. options are there, so they keep coming back. So tonight there's a class, mm -hmm. it starts at? Six o'clock. Six o'clock, it's still open. If, you, if you're totally inspired by this video and you wanna just come tonight yeah. and this is your kind of a thing, then come on over. Yeah. But, it's also, let me mention, yeah. it, it's a fundraiser for the Berkshire United Way as well. So not only do you come out and paint and create and have a good time, but most of the parties that I do are fundraisers for this local community that we try and support the best that we can. So it, it you know, serves a, a heart, you know, passion. Well, that's actually worth mentioning because a lot of the people who watch this could be interested in doing the fundraising side. So yeah. let's say that somebody had a family member that needed some support or mm -hmm. if there was a cause that you wanted to raise money for, yeah. how would it work? They would contact you and do a class and- Sure, so it's a pretty simple process. We pick a date, we pick a painting project, we can do it here, we can do it at a house or at a local bar or restaurant, we can do it just about anywhere. I can accommodate up to 125 painters, so you can wow. have a really big fundraiser. Um, and who's ever hosting the fundraiser, they get to pick the ticket price. So okay. you can make it kind of fluctuate based on fluctuate based on you know what you want the the, the customer to kind of pay. Right. Um, and then the fundraiser gets a portion of that, and you know it's a win win for everybody because. We get to support so many local organizations and families and all that stuff. So, and the people with the cause could pick whatever art. Like they could look at yeah. your catalog and say, "This one really resonates with." Or I'll my do a custom Jimmy. one for them, and I don't charge for the custom uh, painting. So, like you and I were talking about the the eyes in the sky, yes. the spiritual painting. I did. I bought that. a piece. You got to see this. Oh. I'm going to show you because I totally. So because she's creating so many of these, you can buy them. She has a, usually like two extra ones. Oh. Or yeah. more, maybe. Yeah, more. so I have hundreds of these. So extra I'm totally ones walking back. away with this today. $20. Yeah. $20 for <laughs> yeah. a piece of original artwork created by Michelle, and you've seen the level of talent she has. So that, like, I just I just got a really good deal. Well, thanks. <laughs> You're very, very, you know, open about this, which is great. So, you know, just come on down. You can also look at the website, which is berkshirepaintandsip.com. It has the whole list of the upcoming events on there there's usually about 30 parties on there at any wow. given time so they can pick and choose and you can see um, a preview of what the art would be yeah that party so you could like pick and choose your party based on oh i really want to paint a picture of yep this lady with the butterflies and then you'll come to that class yep absolutely wow. this is so fun yeah and i do have an open studio too so if the picture that you want to paint is not on the schedule you can come during an open studio time and you tell me what you want to paint so there'll be 10 or 15 different people in the room all painting something different and I walk and them And you all walk through. each one of them yeah. through what it is. So, so fun. Yeah. So this is clearly good for groups, good mm -hmm. for, do you do corporate things like yeah, team building? Yeah, sure. So I'll go to their, to their business or they can come here. Um, it's just a great way for team morale yeah. and you know, all that stuff. So I can do, you know, 
one painting that everybody works on together, which is, oh, you know, interesting. people take a little ownership on those, so, <laughs> but it's usually best when they all do their own individual, but just to have them in the room together doing that kind of project is pretty cool. Nice. And yeah. you have Berkshire landscapes too. So if you wanted to create something oh, that yeah. reminds you of the Berkshires or looks like the Berkshires or would be a good gift for somebody. Yeah, totally. Kind of a lot of the paintings are inspired by, you know, Mount Greylock or Berkshire Botanical Garden nice. or, you know, all kinds of, we have such beautiful landscapes throughout this area. So why not putting it on the paintings and, you know, have people go home with something that they want to put on their wall. Yeah. 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 yeah that it, you know, speaks to them or whatever. So. All right, we'll do one more little uh, turnaround here so you can see one more time and then we're gonna sign off. Excellent. So Michelle, thank you so much for being one of our women business interviews this month and for showing off your amazing business. Thanks. I totally am gonna have to come to this because this looks like so much fun. All right. All right. I look forward to it. Bye. Thanks for, Bye. Thanks thanks for watching everybody. us. Check out Paint and Sip, BerkshirePaintandSip.com. Bye.